What is up everyone, got an unboxing video here to share with all of you. I went ahead and purchased a new 75 inch two in one DSLR horizontal camera tripod. This one's by a company called Geekodo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It comes in this nice little black bag here. Also, I've had it for about two weeks now and I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If any of you are interested, you can hit that link and head over to Amazon. You'll probably find that it's about $120. It also came with this little black pipe. I believe it's a camera riser of some sort or something like that. There's a little screw in there and I'll show you what that's used for a little later. The rest of it here was packaged really well. It came in the plastic bag there and it also came with the instructions, a user manual, and a little wrench in case you wanted to actually adjust these legs. You could just use that little Allen wrench thingy and tighten or loosen up the legs. The other thing that was really nice during unpacking this thing was the fact that they put this nice cloth velvety type bag over the entire ball head assembly. I thought that was really nice. The colors also look really nice on this. They also call this tripod the X25 Defender. This is basically the quick release locking knob and it comes with a quick release plate. It also has a quarter inch adapter screw in there and those are like little rubbery feet. So you have plenty of adjusting here you can do. This one here is the ball locking knob that allows this 36 millimeter ball joint to move in all kinds of directions. You can face your camera downward or you know anything you need to do with it as far as that goes. And this top head part will actually pan 360 degrees. It's actually really smooth, it's real tight so it would be real nice if you have your camera on there. You can see it has a 360 degree panning scale on it there. It also has a panning scale locking knob there. So I went ahead and decided to unscrew this top headpiece and I believe it's called a cloud head. I think I saw that in the manual. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely heavy and it made of good quality. And then I went ahead and took this center, I think it's like a switching platform piece or plate or something. Took that thingy off just to see what it looked like and what was in there. Went ahead and unscrewed this screw thingy and you can see one end of it smaller than the other. And then it has this great big like central column locking knob and that's how you can adjust that bar right there. And this thingy down here is like a hook or something. I think you can hang weights on there to hold the tripod down. So I went ahead and unscrewed that thingy because once you get that unscrewed, then what you can do is you can pull this entire bar out of the tripod and you can remove this locking knob because I want to see what that looked like. And this piece here, I think it's called the transverse column, but I could not seem to get that unscrewed from the bar. This little button that my thumb is on is the angle adjustment button that allows for each leg of the tripod to be adjusted in three different angles to meet your different shooting needs. These little rubber feet actually unscrew from each leg in case you'd ever need to remove them. And all you need to do here is rotate these leg locking mechanisms and then you can extend each part of the leg out here to your desired length. The other cool thing about this tripod is the ability to detach this leg and create a monopod. So it says it right on the leg there. All you need to do is detach it from the tripod, basically just unscrew it. And then earlier in the video, I mentioned that little tube thing. Well, it had that little threaded piece. You just basically screw that into this leg and then you go ahead and unscrew the hook from the tube that I showed you earlier. All you need to do is then connect the two pieces together and that will allow you to use the tripod as a monopod. So another really cool thing you can do is press the adjustment buttons and then you can rotate the tripod legs in the complete opposite direction. Basically what you can do is backfold them and what that's gonna allow you to do is put the tripod into the smallest size possible and that's gonna make the tripod really easy to carry. This is basically one of the main reasons I bought this tripod is because of this horizontal mode and the ability to pan around like 360 degrees like that so I can record my YouTube unboxings. So you're going to get about 15 inches or so, maybe 15 to 17 inches out of this once your camera is actually mounted. The dimensions of the tripod are 24 inches to 75 inches with 25 millimeter width of aluminum alloy tube and the loading capacity can reach up to 22 pounds. 
So I have the Canon SL2 on there for my camera. Let me go ahead and show you guys some different positions with the tripod.